Hi there, my name is Rodrigo Borges and I work for Spin. In this video, I will show you how the Lean Automation works. Lean Automation is a fast and low-cost process that speeds up the configuration and commissioning of the system supervision of any electrical plant. In this video, I will perform the configuration of a control system of a substation from start to finish in less than 7 minutes. This means creating all objects relate them and give characteristics to them, as well as creating lists of alarms, historical and addresses. Let's go! First, I'll create a project and call it Lean Automation. Before we start, it's important to show that, except for internal tags, there's nothing set in this project. The historian database is empty, the alarm list as well as the address list are empty also. Let's start creating the objects. We will build a substation with one transmission line, three bars, two transformers and two feeders. We will place these bars here. line, bar, bar, another bar, the first transformer and the next one, now the feeders, and then I mark the type for each. As you can see, it's a very easy process and I can set multiple bays at a time. Now I have to set a description for each one of them. There's no need for description in bars. I will work with the scenario in which each bay is related to a relay. In devices, I'll create one node for each relay. That means one node for each bay. Node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4, node 5, node 6, node 7, node 8. Here I must set their IP addresses. In this example, I'll just change some information from one to the other. Of course, in the real life, you have the right addresses to fill the lines with. Ok, now back to the tags. I choose the base and set them in order.
Each bay is now related to a relay. It's time to build the layout of the display. I'll copy these lines and paste them in draw. Right, now all the data registered is converted in objects that I can organize to build my system. I have to set the base voltage of each bay. For line 1, I'll set 230. The bar will be of the same value. The numbers in these transformers are OK. For this one, I'll set from 230 for 69. This bar will be 13.8. This one I don't need to change. The feeder is OK. And this one I'll change. OK, done. Everything created and set. Now I'll run the deploy. That's an extension that creates automatically lists of alarms, historical, and addresses. Once I run it, everything will be ready to go in my substation. Recalling that Lean Automation is a methodology developed by SPIN for a quick setup of monitoring systems in power substations. With Lean Automation, we have more speed, better quality, fewer errors, and a decrease in the amount of field testing. Perfect. Once the deploy is done, the project is automatically closed. I will open it again for you to see how beautiful this project turned out to be. As you are able to see, all lists are filled. The history one, one, the alarm one, and the address one, as easy as it gets. Now let's simulate some commands in order to show that everything is working properly after the configuration process that took less than 7 minutes. I'll change the breaker of feeder 1 status. It changes color. I have also set commands up. If I click on it, I'm able to turn it off. The command value changes. If I set it off again in the background, I can turn it on in the scheme. I can alter the value that's being read. I can also change the state of the disconnector. The X indicates no communication status. Once I turn it up, it disappears and the object assumes the status of the topology. Want to open? Two to close. In the events table, we can see that all my actions were registered as events. I can generate an alarm like this one. an alarm that I can acknowledge. 
All of this can happen after less than 7 minutes of configuration. Amazing, huh? See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.